How about them Cowboys? <laughs> uh, during the career, my career, I didn't talk that much. But I didn't have to. I used my helmet. <laughs> Woo, okay. <laughs> So later on in this speech, I'm going to need some help from my Dallas Cowboy fans. So when I say, <laughs> so when I say, how about them Cowboys, I need you to scream loud as you can. Of course, I want to thank my heart and soul, my wife, Janelle. <laughs> on our first date, she cooked for me. She cooked me two chickens, french fries, baked me a cake, <laughs> and gave me a 40 ounce. <laughs> I knew the end. That was my wife right there. <laughs> when I was a young boy, my little brother got into a fight, and I went to protect him. Growing up in Compton, California, so it was kind of, it was rough out there, so. I was protecting my little brother. But the guy, he was a little older than me, he ended up stabbing. Three months later, my mother said, I'm not raising any punks. So she made me fight this guy three. She said, you will fight him until you win. First day I lost, second day I lost. The third day I finally won. That was one of the most valuable lessons I learned in my life. Never to back down from anybody. I carried that lesson through my whole career. I just knew I had to win every play. And that's the reason why I'm here today. Another lady who made a huge impact on my life was my grandmother, Bertha Lee Dodson. She was a hardworking woman. She owned three successful restaurants in Los Angeles. She spoiled me to death, gave me whatever I wanted. But she taught me you have to work for what you got. When I was 14, she sat me down. She said, Larry, you need to find out what you're good at and go do it. I think I did that, Granny. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to be drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I remember getting a call from Jerry saying, son, would you like to be a cowboy? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, ran out of my apartment, jumped in the swimming pool with all my clothes on. <laughs> and now to the Cowboy Hall of Famers I played with, Troy Aikman. You showed me how to come to work every day and be a professional. I thank you. Michael Irvin. Nobody practiced harder than Michael Irvin. Deion Sanders. He showed me it was all right to be the best. <laughs> and Emmitt Smith, the all-time leading rusher. I thank you. Been a great friend to me. He brought up a story about a game I had against the great Reggie White. I have never been domin dominated like that before in my life. So I got in that weight room and became the strongest man in the NFL. Did it naturally. <laughs> 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 All right. 
<laughs> no, it's funny. Once I bench 700 pounds, it tells me twice a week for the rest of the, my career. <laughs> I also played hard, whistle to whistle, to make my opponent submit. And today, I'm submitting to you. I just can't wait to see my bus. I hope it has a dip in it. <laughs> <laughs>